Yo, what's good everybody? It's the Sabre Wolf 94. As we're waiting for 151 to arrive, the set, the Canto set, um, I decided to revisit Darkrai V-Star in the standard format. Uh, one of my favorites from the latter Sword and Shield era, you could say, Astral Radiance. Pretty cool set. Um, well, all things concerned for the new Pokemon cards. Uh, but this is one of my favorites for sure. It's Darkrai. is a very cool Pokemon. I call this deck Cool Forbidden Word Turbo. And if you guys want a tip of what that word is, um, listen to a lot of 90s rap music. But anyway, this guy is definitely cool. That's hence the name. And this is definitely going to be a Turbo deck. Uh, last time I showcased and used Darkrai Vistar was when Pokemon TCG Online was still around and we didn't have live. And uh, the deck, I mean, even, even from its inception, when Astro Radiance came out, I overestimated it. I thought it was going to be a lot stronger and a lot scarier than it ended up being. I mean, a lot of people, I, I'm pretty sure people did try the deck. They wanted to make it work, but it's that damage output. You fall a bit too short. I mean, it's the same sort of damage that um, the Tag Team GX Greninja Zorok used to do. Um, and that was strong for back in its days, but... Now we got Pokemon with more HP, and um, they don't even give three prizes like the Tag Team GXs. And it, you, it, it's a bit trouble for Darkrai to get that damage output. Yeah, a lot of things in its way. Um, but it's still a solid card. I would put it as a Tier 2 deck. Tier 1, definitely not, but Tier 2. I'd say it can be Tier 2 with the right list. Um, 270 HP, pretty nice. Uh, Dark Pulse. It could have been better, but it's still a strong attack. If you get enough darkness energies, you can do a lot of damage. And even if you can do, you know, set up for two hit KOs, it's good enough. As you build more darkness energy, then you can get into the one hit KO range. Um, if you do things right, and as you keep getting energies, if your opponent doesn't shut your abilities down and you can keep going, you can make it to the 300 range. Even if you can't do that from the beginning, get a few two hit KOs at the start eventually you can't go into that 300 range and even 330 actually to kill the Charizards so you know it can't be a deadly attacker still and then the Star Abyss ability is just excellent in this uh, sort of a deck I mean in any deck just grabbing two item cards for free from the Disco Pile it's almost as nice as uh, RC as you could say you get that recovery I mean uh, if I think about it to be honest I mean I guess it's not this sort of format but in the end, this guy didn't end up being used as a support Pokemon in the same way as Arceus. I mean, I guess Arceus, you use him to set up like the double computer search. This guy is like double dowsing machine of the A spec. So I thought maybe people would use him as a recovery, as a recovery option late game. But I guess, I mean, yeah, it, it's not that type of format where you got some specific items you want to get back, maybe. Um, and Arceus lets you set up quicker so that's the point but anyway in his deck this sort of effect is still going to be good it's going to let us get those dark patches again maybe get a switch get whatever item we need so that's pretty good so we got three of this guy and then four of the dark cry v are basic to evolve into the stage one um this guy is not that good 210 hp is pretty dangerous it dies to one hit ko's easy um, I'd say, I mean, even if it was 220, you still die to things like Mirada in one shot and what have you, but nevertheless. Uh, Dark Void, 130 for 3, not very good. The Auto Sleep maybe can help you stall in a very desperate situation, but most of the time, you're not really going to use this guy to attack. Um, you want to just evolve into the V-Star. Uh, we got the double Galarian Moltres V. Um, you could say it's a secondary attacker, but these days you probably don't want to attack with this. Just wanted to sit on the bench and gather darkness energies from the Disco Palm. Improve Darkrai's damage. That's the point. So two of this bird. Gotta have it. And then I got one of the Galarian Moltres, the regular one. I've considered taking this out for an additional stadium. Um, but, I mean, in a way it's kind of too good when you can get it off. Two energies is nice. Even if you get one, is good. And then it can't be used as a late game revenge attacker. That's going to commit one price doesn't come up too often but if it does it can't be good um i mean to be honest compared to other some other revenge pokemon this damage isn't even that good it's gonna be like 
220 if your opponent has taken four prizes. Now that's pretty good for a regular Pokemon, but as a revenge attack, we need to be doing a lot more to be dangerous. But I mean, you have it for Malevolent Charge. Um, I guess the small Moltres with the big Galarian Moltres too together, like the Evil Tall Days. And then everybody else's support. Uh, you guys are going to see this is much different than my other older Darkrai build. Uh, it's just a lot of cards in force to be honest. It's just very, very turbo deck. So we got the Radiant Greninja. Uh, definitely your Radiant Pokemon of choice in this deck. Discard those, darkness, uh, discard those darkness energies. Set up the discard pile for your dark patches. And Moltres, of course. Draw cards. Uh, just... Uh, contributes to turbo that's the point got the man if you for bench protection um i guess yeah just have it you never know sniping it can't be a bitch maybe this is something you can take out too for something else but i mean if i open with it it's uh, a good little decoy pokemon too uh, but maybe yeah this deck doesn't need that bench protection but since i usually run the mana fee i just had it in this deck too um, you could do maybe, maybe you could do Clef or just something else. I don't know. Um, but because we do run the damn um, Squawka, Squ Squawkabilly. Yeah, this fuck the best name. But this thing, so this is the first time in the first deck I'm using this card in. And that's because um, we are definitely uh, aiming to be mega turbo in this deck. And this can sort of backfire with this guy too, but um, because we're going for that uh, strategy, uh, this guy just makes perfect sense as opposed to something like Luminion. So if I play first, my first turn, you play this down, you can dump and draw six like the Danny GX. Now the good thing is, the one good thing is that it's not an on-play effect, so when you play it down, you have to use the effect. You can get it down and then do some stuff and then use it when you want to. Even if you open within the active position, it's pretty good. It's about the only benefit it has over to the energy X. Uh, that's about it. And I guess the attack, giving you energy acceleration, it can actually work out in this deck too because we dump a lot of darkness energies. If we have this guy as, as an opener and it's going to be a decoy anyway, use the ability, make an attack, do 20, then grab two darkness energies, put them on the dark right. It can work out. But... Uh, Pretty much that's it. The downside compared to the Dedene GX, the actual one, is that um, if you don't use this on your first turn, then it's a dead Pokemon, useless Pokemon. Uh, but it's fine. I am running two, just in case one of it is prized or... Yeah, just to see it. I have a lot of searching cards to get it because we most of the time want to use it. A lot of the times, it just you're going to feel it like, like you're forced to use it. Otherwise, you're going to lose it completely. And then you do it and it sort of backfires. But we want to go turbo. You guys are going to see. So just have two of this. And that's all the Pokemon. I mean, how many are there? You got uh, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think 11. Yeah, so it's a fair amount. All right. Then we go to the trainers. I got um, a lot of searching searcher cards. Got double Nest Ball. And I only do two of this because we're using the Battle VIP Pass for once. I mean, I've used it before, but... Uh, I've only used it in very few decks, and uh, in this deck it makes sense because we try to be as turbo as possible. I even aim to go first, which is... In a lot of my decks I don't aim to go first, but this we want to go first. Uh, get those Pokemon, get those Darkness Energies, get a lot of uh, ability-based and item-based draw with Squawkabilly and other cards. Set up the Discopal with Darkness Energies and just go ham, basically. Okay. And uh, max out the Ultra Ball as well. Heavy Duty Discard Outlet. Best method to get the Dark Cry Vista and just get anything pretty much. Um, I have a lot of cards that I don't care to discard that are going to be dead later on. Like the Battle VIP Passes, extra ones that I don't use. You know, the Squawkabilly. I mean, other shit. So that, that's why maxing this out is not bad. And you can always do the play where you use the Ultra Ball to discard an Ultra Ball and something else to get something. So it's fine. All right, got the one energy search as well. A little bit of a energy grabbing from the deck through an item. This Professor Letter is obviously stronger, but we don't have that. And then I got uh, four of the trekking shoes. Very good turbo item based draw. 
uh, dump the shit you don't need and dump those darkness energies if you're fortunate to hit them and then keep drawing and um that's about it i guess for the consistency cards uh, you max out the dark patch in this deck makes perfect sense uh, get those energies boost their damage i got the one tech switch um, just one maybe you can reuse it with dark cry uh, sometimes y you want to do shit like that it's not like you always want to get the dark patch again but i mean it is the best thing you can recover most of the time with this effect reuse it uh, but one switch you never know we want to switch uh, we get stuck good to have around and then um that's it i guess the new card that's the first time i'm using it the box of disaster so dark v star it does need it it just it misses that something either more hp to survive so you can get those two hit ko's guaranteed he doesn't die in one shot or he just lacks damage um you could use something like the choice belt but that's not going to be effective against the exes it doesn't it's not going to give you the boost there's that other tool that's going to give you the boost if you're behind in prizes but um we don't want to be in that position we want to be ahead and get the bonus damage there's another like a uh, almost like a bandana thing I, I don't remember the name but it just gives you 10 that's not that good so the box of disaster is the answer to our problem so this card you're not always going to gain the effect but when you do it's just the exact plus you want if it's attached on a pokemon v it only works on a v and it has full hp and it dies in one shot you put eight damage counters in the attacking pokemon so that's a lot of damage and to be honest a lot of shit does a lot of Pokemon do heavy damage these days, so even 270 HP on the Darkrai V-Star, he's going to be dying in one shot against Tyran against uh, Charizard, against the uh, other heavy-duty attackers, Chien Pao, getting those one-hit KOs, and um, yeah, what else? I guess Giratina is always going to come up. Fucking Fusion Strike Mew, got to be wary of that. Um, so at least you know you're gonna get that eight damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon and that definitely softens them up soften softens them softens them up damn I can't even talk but yeah eight damage counters is a lot a lot of the times Darkrai you're gonna be in that 240 range maybe you know 270 range and that's not enough to get those one hit KOs on the biggest Pokemon but then if you know you're gonna get this bonus and your opponent knows they're gonna get that L, that damage, they're gonna be like, fuck, okay, I survived, but then I die on my turn, so it's like the same thing, basically. Uh, so I think this is pretty good, just running two of them, I think it's gonna work, it's gonna be really nice. Um, I mean, I tested with the deck, so yeah, it does work, sometimes it won't work, but it's pretty good. Extra damage for no reason. And um, yeah, I mean, we, we got the space, sort of. I only have, unfortunately, one stadium in this deck. And that does sting because Path of the Peak really fucks this deck up. I mean, it's the worst enemy. Um, even Pokemon that are going to hit us for weakness probably isn't as bad as Path of the Peak. Because with Path of the Peak, just everything shuts down, pretty much. I can only rely on the Dark Patch for extra energies. And that, that that's not fast enough. We got to use... Moltres, um, we gotta use Greninja to dump the energies, we gotta use Darkrai V-Star's effect to re-get the Dark Patch, so that really just messes us up big time. Um, so Temple of Sinnoh is a counter stadium, but I mean if I discard it, because we do discard a lot of shit in this deck, it sucks. If, I, if you have to play it down early, you see it and you gotta play it because you're gonna dump everything, and then they play the Path to the Peak, you're pretty much stuck. So... I sort of took a gamble and just decided, okay, just one of this, not everyone is using Path of the Peak. But um, I have gotten my ass kicked a lot of times because of Path of the Peak, and you just couldn't, I couldn't do shit about it because I don't have any other outs, like the Counter Stadiums or the Lost Blender thing. Um, yeah, the, the thing that just discards a card and then gets rid of uh, your stadium in the Lost Zone. So that's it. Those are all the item cards, supporter cards, uh, max out the EONO, a lot of force once again, max out the professor research in this deck, heavy duty discarding, 
um, 100% it works out in this deck and um, got the one lady I like this card in this deck just let me grab a lot of darkness synergies we can just discard with ultra ball Greninja and um, yeah even make the combo with the Galarian Moltres so pretty good I like uh, a tech one of her in this deck and then we do double of the Miriam pot of avarice bitch so normally I do one of this card in my decks so it's just a great recovery card that gives you draw as well but in this deck because we're running four research four uh, not four but two of uh, the bird uh, bitch squabbilly uh, squawk squawkabilly whatever there's always that chance you're gonna open with this open up with two dark cry v stars for example or just some other shit open up with a bunch of dark patches and then you gotta discard everything and uh, it's just really shitty at least with Miriam, you can recover the Pokemon back. So if we have to discard the Darkrai V stars, we can get them back. If we have to discard, I mean, I mean, just pretty much that to be honest. Um, maybe you can recover Moltres, Greninja, perhaps. There's always something you might recover mid to late game if it dies. But it, it really is these two copies. Just in the chance, I gotta be discarding Darkrai V stars, and then I need to get them back. Another thing I considered in this deck was uh, Rosane. Uh, that lets you grab a, a stadium, a tool, a Pokemon, and an energy back in the deck. But I, I just wish it let you draw too. Um, even if it was just one card. Uh, because, I mean, this just pretty much makes all the other recovery cards almost obsolete, I'd say, Miriam. It's just too good. She recovers and then it draws. All the other supporters that recover in the deck but don't let you draw. They just seem so shitty in comparison. So that's why I think she's better. I mean, instead of Rosane, I guess if I want to do more stadiums, I, I do more stadiums as opposed to trying to recover the stadium. But I just thought maybe, okay, if I'm going to do the double Miriam, maybe do a Miriam and a Rosane, because that's also a way to get Pokemon back. But I don't know, maybe it would be good. Um, in the end, I've played with this deck with two Miriam. So, who knows? Uh, you could do Super Rod, you could do goddamn planes outside. Anyway. Uh, yeah, you, you could do a bunch of stuff. I guess it's up to player preference. But yeah. The stadium, stadium shit is a bitch. If they get that path to the peak. Alright, I don't think I missed anything. Okay, boss's orders use this to win the game at the right time. If we dump it, it's too bad. But I can't be running more than one card in this deck. I almost never do anyway. I mean, for me, it's ideal to just run one of these and then have a bunch of VS Seekers like back in the day if you want to use it multiple times. That's the way to go for me. Anyway. And then to finish things off, we run 12 Darkness Energies. That's it. Pretty simple. It's a fair amount, uh, but we need a lot in this deck. Uh, can't go too overboard, but um, it's nice to have a lot so you see them, you can discard them. You know, you get those manual attachments as well as discarding them and then grabbing them from the discard pile. So that's important. That's the point of that. And this is basically the deck. I mean, very simple. Got the deck box, got the sleeves. All It's all about the Dark Cry in this bitch. Dark Cry love. But I mean, it is a very cool Pokemon. One of my favorite V-Stars. I just wish it was a bit stronger. I think it, it didn't really meet expectations as people thought. Uh, we're used to broken dark cries in these modern times, ever since the black and white era, basically. And this card didn't deliver, didn't deliver quite as much. But I decided to use it. A lot of matches as we wait for the Kanto set. I thought of maybe doing um, uh, the Hisui and Tender Cruel as well. Uh, I sort of uh, not misread the card, but I thought it worked a bit differently. But uh, because I know you can use it with the damn Cherim, I'm thinking, okay, yeah, it's not as bad as uh, I thought it'd be. So maybe I was going to use that too, but I don't know. We'll see. I don't think we'll have enough time. By the time I use Dark Cry, the new set is going to come out. We'll see, though. Uh, that's it. That's the deck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for the matches, of course. Leave a like. Share the video with your friends. And i see you guys there. What I...